Now I match the headers. Not bad. Now I get my center off my pipe, existing pipe coming out of the ceiling. Grab my header, hold it up, get that same measure off the floor joist. Now I get my measure from face to face, add for the make-ins, and that will give me my piece that I need to cut. This is the rigid 700 power drive. I'll be using that to thread some two inch pipe. I use this arm to hold on, hold the support, the weight of the 700, just like the vices in the, at the shop. You put the base on the pipe, bring the clamp over, hook it, and tighten it. This is the same die as we use in the school. Put it in the power drive. Give it a little bit of a tap. If it gets stuck with a rubber mallet, notice I have it unplugged as I'm doing that. Slide it into place. Connect the cord. Check the rotation. Just like anything righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Put pressure on until the teeth bite and start to thread. Make sure to use lots of oil when using this threader. Here's the completed header. All connected up. Now I'm going to finish doing these connections to the heat pipes that already exist in this in the ceiling. I'm going to take my riser measures, three and a half inches. Always take into account the make-in when get taking measures and uh, face to face. This doesn't need to be measured due to the fact that you can see there's no space inside that nipple like earlier if there's no space from the opposing from the opposing threads that makes it a close nipple now i take some quick measurements locate the properly sized nipples a another close nipple a close nipple measures about an inch and a half long but you call it close because there's no space. Grab some 90s, some Teflon tape, some pipe dope. Remember always to put Teflon tape on the way of the threads are going to spin into the hub as to not have it bind up and come off. Teflon tape, pipe dope. On heating systems, I double up Teflon tape and pipe dope. On water systems, I would only use Teflon tape. Uh, personal preference, Teflon tape, uh, the pipe tope is perfectly fine to be used on water piping, uh, but I prefer not to because of the chemicals in the water. With gas pipe, I would only use pipe dope.
I'm going to take the existing piece, put it in the proper orientation so I can compare it to the pipe in the ceiling and put the close nipple in the right spot. Spinning around. The first couple of threads should always be done by hand. You don't want to force a nipple into a hub. Uh, if you have that, there's a good possibility there's something on the thread that's going to screw it up or it's cross-threaded, which means it's threading but at a slight angle and it won't, it won't hold pressure. This one is very tight against the floor joist. So once I get it caught about a half thread, maybe a, maybe a full thread, I'll use the wrench to tighten it up. As you can see right here, it's hitting against the floor joist. When I put the pressure on that hub, it will force that 90 away from the floor joist. Take my center of my existing pipes, compare it to the center of the new outlets, I'm going to make a match. Pretty close already.